Thank you, thank you. Uh, very happy to be here for the 20th episode of uh, En Route Vers to Survivor. Uh, is it the last episode before uh, Alerte Rouge? Probably. <laughs> Probably, it's a callback to the other episodes. It was a callback from other episodes, but uh, people here uh, didn't care. And uh, I understand them, I didn't care either. Uh, so, uh, how are you guys? Good. J'aurais dû dire, how are you? Uh, are you good? Yes, but uh, how are you guys? F fine. Uh, some of us are feeling okay. Uh, we are about to uh, get confiné once again, and we're a bit sad. So, uh, so, um, so it's going to be our last taping before I don't know uh, when. At least 28 days or maybe more. So uh, hopefully not, because I'm going to miss you guys. But we have a fun podcast, and I have a fun guest And uh, he's a comedy genius, Mike Ward. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello, Mike. Yeah, I realized I put the mask inside out. Yeah. So I, I gave myself. Uh, But you don't have like a, 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 a turtleneck anymore. No, I, I, I can put it here. You look not. like a priest because it was white and you have like a black uh, uh, sweatshirt. So okay. you look like a priest. Really? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. For you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> For you, it's a good clash. <laughs> okay. You could be a good priest. Yeah, I would be a good priest, I yeah. think. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen you with a beard that long. No, it's because I, I I I only shave once a week now. Okay, I've so totally are you on the up. the curve of the sixth day? I'm uh, yeah. I, so I you're going to shave tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. You show you shave every Tuesday. Yeah, I shave every Tuesday. And exactly. why did you choose Tuesday? Uh, it's because it annoys me. It starts annoying me like now. Okay. Because I I can't grow a beard, so now it just it it like in two days I look like I'm trying to grow a goatee. So uh, why uh, for the 28 days uh, that we are we have restrictions? Oh, should you let should it, like let it go, or, or just shave everything except for the neck. <laughs> <laughs> just bring the neck beard. But uh, what was the longest you've had? I had this. This? Yeah. This is your peak. Because I can't grow. I can't grow a, a real beard. I could grow a mustache. I might try to grow a mustache. Yes, please. I think I'd look funny with a mustache. Who would like to see Mike with a mustache? Yes. Okay. I think it's a must now. Yeah, I have to do it. Do you have like a little cold? Uh, no, I okay. don't think so. No, you see. Do I sound like I have a cold? No, but you seem like uh, your nose is uh, uh, like uh, stuffy. A bit stuffy, no? Okay, nah, I don't know. No, I, I'm hungover, so maybe that's. Oh it. yeah, that's probably it's, it. Yeah, it's full of vomit. <laughs> Because it, it, if you have COVID, I I want yeah. it. So I. Okay. I no, I, I don't think if so. If you could spit on me. <laughs> don't want to spit on me? I don't want are to you spit on you. Are you protecting me? Is that what I'm you're doing? I'm protecting you from, uh, from my spit. Okay, thank you. So, uh, do you have uh, anything new? Uh, no, not no. really. I started taking vitamin D. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, what is the purpose? Because uh, uh, I read that uh, uh, people don't have enough vitamin D. And uh, it, it's if you it, you have less chances of catching COVID. That's what I yeah. Uh, some guy in the street yelled that to me. Okay. <laughs> and then he told me to faire mes recherches. And <laughs> okay. so I and you did and you, yeah. I'm very I'm very uh, you're, uh, easy to influence. Yeah. Yeah. So you're taking like a two a day. I'm taking uh, uh, just one a day. Okay. I thought you were going to say 20. No, 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 no. I I was going to do a joke and then I figured back. Ah, No, you become ser serious because yeah. the the you are uh, sad because yeah. of the 28 days. My, my comedy has become code red. <laughs> so, <laughs> every time I go to do a joke, my brain goes, "It's not time for laughter. It's time for hiding in your house." Okay, so if we do improv later, you're gonna be not gonna funny. Be just not being funny. You're gonna um, you're gonna uh, prevent not prevent but block each joke you have yeah i'm just going to talk about vitamin d okay yeah. oh, it's going to be a fun yeah, podcast and hydroxychloroquine <laughs> the whole time okay yeah okay it's yeah. gonna yeah. i good might talk about dr raoul ah, i love dr <laughs> raoul 
Nice hair, man. He does have nice hair. <laughs> hair and a bit uh, grumpy. He looks like he's the week he he's a doctor and on weekends he has a cover band. <laughs> yes. He looks like he yeah. plays like an electric keyboard. Yeah. Like he's in a Journey cover band. Well, you see, I'm, you are making jokes now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. It, red we're, alert, Mike. We're back, red we're, we're back to orange. Vitamin D, <laughs> okay. man. Vitamin yeah. D. <laughs> so uh, thank you to Jan for uh, being here. Uh, yeah. Let's clap for Jan. Yeah, yeah is, that you are, uh, is it the first time you are... Uh, 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 directing directing uh, live yes yes are you happy with the the the, the positions we have uh, uh yes. yes are you going to say other words than yes uh, <laughs> <laughs> i can try but yes, for now try. yes is enough for you okay yes but well, your your english uh, yeah. your, your english Jan is intriguing well Yeah, he does speak well. It's because the he grew up near Ontario, so they had like they'd always go to Ontario to have sex with girls. Oh, right. The, yeah, 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 with Shania Twain. Yeah, yeah, we would go. But to it, it, it didn't work out with Shania <laughs> because you chose. Exactly. We would go to a, a place called V Town. V Town. And, yeah. Is, Is that V for vagina? Yeah, that's <laughs> we're going to V Town. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I was going to make a vitamin D joke yeah. instead. But uh, yeah, well, what, what is what, the V? What, uh, v Town for? is a little place right, uh, uh, right the other side of the uh, the border, and uh, the place is kind of clo closed because the uh, kind of closed or closed. Yeah, the, the, the the city is kind of ghost a little bit. Okay. So one guy, he's a motorcycle guy. He bought every house in town. So a motorcycle now guy all, like a, a Hell's Angels. Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He bought every house, every. Every uh, uh, every uh, uh, buildings and now It's everyone owes him money in this fucking city. <laughs> okay. It's kind of it's so hilarious. it's his town now. Yeah, it's his town. Everyone okay. owes something to this guy. But the, does he uh, does he owe you? Uh, I mean, the, uh, are, uh, is he owning you uh, right now? Is he your uh, owner? No, 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 no. We would go. <laughs> we would go to this town and fuck some some girls that were poor. Don't say the word fuck in this you podcast. You go to that city <laughs> to fuck girls that were poor. Yeah, they oh, were. They were oh. poor, miserable. So, what were they uh, hygienic? The girls were they? Oh were yeah, yeah, clean? yeah, 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 yeah. Poor but clean. <laughs> yeah. They could borrow some toilet paper Just from that guy. Rich, oh, enough, rich enough for soap, but not for perfume. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're you a... Don't fuck girls that were poor. God damn. Fuck. But fuck. Uh, that, sounds like, that sounds like everyone going to Cuba on vacation alone. Or <laughs> <laughs> but fuck. was it because of when... The, They were poor. They had like less judgment, or no? It, 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 uh, no, man. It's just a question because why, why, uh, why, why go specifically to the poor? <laughs> since there, since it was a, a small town, uh, anyone, any guy, uh, however he looked, was kind of a star coming into town because okay. they were <laughs> kind of tired of always fucking the same three guys. And uh, so you were months. once a star. I was once a star. <laughs> yes, I was shining high in V Town. <laughs> That'd be a good bio for your like your Twitter handle, the uh, Yanterio once a star in V Town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> I'm a star in V Town. <laughs> hashtag Lilith. Hashtag having sex with pores. <laughs> <laughs> You have to. You have to and change. I, I did. I did something funny two years ago. I googled all the, the these girls, and they are all out of my league not right now. I could. I. I. They are too pretty. Yeah. Or. I couldn't fuck any one of them. I'm the poor one now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a bon renversement. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's la rosar arrosé. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the. Uh, I'm going to try to translate that. It's the. Um, Arroseur, arrosé, calice. The sprayer that got sprayed. The sprayer yeah. that got sprayed. Or the yeah, sprinkler yeah. that got sprinkled. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this podcast is so much fun. Yeah. 
Do you agree? I, I like this podcast. Me too. Yeah. That's why we do it. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to have a 28 days 28 pause. 28 day break. Yeah. Are you going? And you, you just got uh, your new apartment, so you're going to be... That's, uh, that's going to be weird. I'm going to be in between, yeah. I'm going to bring boxes from times to times and receive hopefully a couple of furniture okay. <laughs> if I want to eventually uh, Move live in. in it. Yeah, but I'm going to have... A, I'm looking forward to have my... Uh, Uh, like they say in French, may rideau. Okay. Oh, you don't have curtains yet? Curtains, yeah. I just okay. want to see if you knew it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't have my curtains yet. Yes, but uh, I'm going to have them in like uh, October 10th, maybe. So Why, why, uh, why so far away? Uh, because it's uh, order, because they, they, they took the measurements and they had to order a specific uh, curtain uh, Uh, that I chose. And oh, it's, you got them like custom made? Yeah. They, um, that must cost like $9,000 a window. Not a window, but uh, in total. <laughs> it costs you $9,000? Yeah, but I have a lot of, like, lot of windows that Jesus, are super... Fuck. Yeah, but it's not, uh, it's not uh, because some of them are doubled because I need blackout okay, in my room. Okay, so then it's cheap. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's not, it's not like... Uh, fuck. It's like a good curtain, imagine, but not like a royalty curtain. Imagine how the girls in VV Town must be wet now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He spent $9,000 on curtains. Yeah, but curtains is super expensive if you have like lots of windows. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. It's because I always buy my, my curtains like for Ikea. cheap on, uh, on Amazon. Amazon yeah. or Ikea. Or uh, it includes Bukla. also the on uh, Bukla. But if you can buy yourself, if you can buy yourself nine thousand dollars of curtains, you could probably own the guy who owns V Town right yeah, now. Yeah, you could buy, <laughs> you could buy the next town over. So to be like one town, it's like an old guy that used to be in the rock machine, <laughs> and, the, and the other town is Jante Mojave. So what uh, what should be my uh, bio on Twitter if I uh, if own? that's V Town, you should have D Town. D Town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or P Town. Or did you see uh, the? Uh, did you uh, listen to the podcast S Town? Uh, I think I suggested. It yeah, to yeah, you. yeah. I think I listened to one episode. Just one. Yeah. You got hooked. Yeah, I got. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not even it's, sure if I listened to it. It's very good. Okay. It's I'll like a podcast. If I, I, I um, just to give it, uh, I don't want to spoil the, the. What is a revirement in English? The, yeah. the twist? What, a twist, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> that was an easy word. <laughs> But uh, I was looking for a more uh, intellectual word. Can you, find an, a synon a, uh, can you find a synonym for twist? Surprise. Uh, Surprise? The, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of... Like a party. Because yeah. you know what I was thinking of? You know how in Quebec, like in the 1950s, they used to always do... Uh, Like, they, they take uh, English songs and then turn them into French. Yeah. They, they, so they stole all the Beatles. They stole everything. But I, uh, they, they, they took the song, uh, The Twist. Let's do The Twist. But it was, yeah. uh, On fait le twist. It would have been better, On fait des revirements. Ah, <laughs> 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 ouais, baby. On fait des revirements. <laughs> Avoyez les filles pauvres, on fait des revirements. <laughs> uh, vitamin D is out of the door now, huh? Yeah, fuck the vitamin D. <laughs> so the, the, the angle of uh, S-Town is like, uh, it starts with, uh, because it's the, the same uh, people who did the serial, the, okay, the yeah, podcast. Yeah. And uh, it's like, it starts like an, uh, an investigation Uh, of a murder, an old murder in S-Town, and the guy that provides the information, suddenly there's a twist in the the story of the guy who helps the journalist. Okay, so that means he's a murderer? No, <laughs> not this, no, okay. it's not that. Probably, but it, possibly. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Clearly. But, uh, <laughs> no, that's not the twist, but it's, it's, a, it's very good. They're going to okay. do a movie uh, oh, yeah. because okay, it was yeah, so... so listen. I, I, yeah, I, I listen to season one of Serial, mm -hmm. and I've been listening to uh, a podcast called Serial Killers. I, I've listened to a lot of those. But when you go uh, in your uh, uh, Maison de Campagne, yeah. you have time on your car. So I'm always in the basement listening to podcasts about serial killers and sharpening my knife. <laughs> okay. That's all I so do now. <laughs> gives you a... Like... I sharpen my knife. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Does it give you goosebumps? It does. It gives me an erection, too. Oh, okay. I didn't think sharpening a knife would turn me on so much. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is uh, Marie uh, Safar Gaté? No, uh, she's, <laughs> she's not allowed she, in the basement. Okay, so you are masturbating just after sharpening your wife? I, I don't even need to masturbate. I just sharpen my knife. And you, I eventually come. Okay, you don't yeah. even touch your penis. No, I just... No. Okay, that's good. Sharpen my knife, come, I cry for a while. Okay. And then I go back upstairs and we uh, buy curtains online. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you, you, even w uh, with sharpening the knife, you have a, a post-ejaculation depression. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why do people yeah. say, uh, oh, it's like... Because I'm uh, always sad. Post-ejaculation post depression does exist, yeah. you know. I'm always sad <laughs> that, that I came before my knife did. Oh. My knife never came. Oh, that's no. sad. Yeah, that's Poor sad. knife. <laughs> Poor knife. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a MacGyver knife? No, it, now it's just a, it's, it's just a handle because I've sharpened it so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are we even talking I about? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, imagine people are listening to this now going, Comment ça l'aide à apprendre l'anglais? <laughs> Somehow it helps. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do get on Survivor and then the producers, once you're already booked, listen to just this episode yeah. and go, what the fuck have we done? <laughs> yeah. His friend is masturbating while sharpening his knife and he doesn't yeah. even touch his penis and he yeah. comes. <laughs> and the yeah. other one's talking about how sexy poor people are. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I, uh, usually I, I, uh, I present the gnome work that I did yeah. for the people who are uh, listening at home who haven't seen the first uh, 19 episodes. So um, <laughs> yes, there are 19 episodes of this shit. And uh, you know how usually <laughs> we always go if you're listening at home or wherever you are, but now people are <laughs> they're, oh. they have to be at home they have to be at home yeah, or exactly. maybe on an audio platform in their car yeah. when they can't stand to be home yeah that's a possibility yeah it could be possibly mm. <laughs> and it's weird because we're acting like everything's closing down but it's just Montreal and Quebec Quebec City. and, uh, and uh, Chaudière-Appalaches Chaudière-Appalaches is La Beauce right? I think yeah yes okay So, do you want to end the podcast on I this note? I think we just sh should end it now. <laughs> so, the, um, the, uh, the, the, it's always Mike who uh, gives me uh, the theme yeah. of uh, my homework. I always make you write a composition yeah. and uh, you have a theme and then you read what you wrote. And yeah. this week, you wrote a, a script with uh, two characters, right? Two characters because the, the, the theme you proposed was... I'm the vice president of Purell, Merci. and I have to explain to the president of Purell how I managed to bring Purell to the ground during the pandemic. Okay, so how, how you killed Purell? Because it's true. Remember, Purell used to be like the only company that yeah. fucking made They have competitors hand sanitizer, now. and now you never see Purell. It's all these weird fucking brands no one's ever heard of. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to be the guy who's responsible for that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the, the president. I, and I, I sent you the text because I okay. didn't want you to touch uh, papers that I touched. Okay. But have you read it yet? Or no, I didn't. You're going to discover yeah. it yeah. live. Since you're just a, a formidable actor, yeah. you should be able to uh, be good on the fly. I will be on the I'll be amazing. Okay, do you so want, me, I'm, to, I'm do you want the, me to do an accent? No, or? no. Okay. Just, or, you know, whatever. I'm, I you're the boss accents. of you're the yeah. boss of yourself. Decide I'm, what you want to do. I have a uh, faith in you. I'll be I'll be a super campy gay guy from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so, oh, so, so so you so so he's a V. I'll be Jean Lou. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, I'm the vice president of Purell. Is the president okay. of Purell. So it goes like this. It's like uh, five pages. So hang on. Okay. okay. <laughs> Knock, knock. Yeah, come in. Hey, uh, Mr. Davidson. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Josh. Um, that is your name, right? It's Josh? Yes, it is. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you say your name? Uh, Josh. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, what, what can I uh, do uh, for you? Uh, can I sit down? Sure, sit down. Thank you. What's on your mind? Uh, I don't know how to say this. It's easy. This. 
this. That's, that's how you say it. This. That's how you say this. You see? A child could do it. Try it. This. Go. This. Oh, you're right. It was easy. Yeah, it was easy. But that's not what I meant. I have to confess something. Okay. Uh, can I try to guess? Sure. Okay. You have a tattoo of Emmanuel Macron on your penis. What? No. Ah, shoot. I was sure that was it. Why were you sure I had a tattoo of Emmanuel Macron on my penis? Because each time he does a press conference, you tune in to watch. So? You have tattoos of every pers person you tune in to watch their press conference on your penis? No, just two. <laughs> Who? I have uh, the Habs coach, uh, Claude Julien. And uh, I have a former uh, LACAC uh, health minister, uh, Daniel McCann. Really? Yeah. You have a Daniel McCann's face tattooed on your penis? No, not just a face, the whole body. Is she naked? What? No. She's dressed. What, 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 what do you think? Who do you think I am? Why would my tattoo of uh, Ma Madame McCann on my penis be naked? You think I'm a pervert? No, but... Uh... No, a tattoo of a naked Daniel McCann on my penis would be vulgar. Very vulgar. And with a dress, it's what? It's classy. <laughs> classy? Yes. She's wearing a $1,900 dress on the tattoo. It's a very classy dress. $1,900, that's almost a quarter of a curtain. <laughs> oh, it's jazz un peu. Hein? <laughs> Bien confiant. How, how can you evaluate, evaluate the cost of a dress on a tattoo drawn on your penis? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, of course it makes sense. The picture of uh, Daniel McCann, I brought, it, I brought it to the tattoo artist. I, I had Googled the dress and it cost $1,900 and the tattoo artist is excellent. It looks exactly the same as the dress. So I know she's wearing a $1,900 dress. So in no way is my tattoo vulgar. But it's on your penis! It is, yes, so? <laughs> so what, who cares? Never mind, uh, how much is the dress of Claude Julien on your tattoo? You're not wearing a dress, Claude Julien is naked on my tattoo. <laughs> oh, and that is not vulgar? That is extremely vulgar. <laughs> But Daniel McCann's tattoo is very classy. Well, uh, well when, when, when you'll see the dress, you'll understand. Wh why would I see it? Because I'll show it to you. But not here. Not now. We'll show it during the daytime. I want good lighting so you can appreciate the dress. I don't need to see it. Wow, I never thought me coming here would lead to this ridiculous uh, conversation. There's nothing ridiculous. I, okay, I hope uh, you, get, you get an Emmanuel Macron tattoo on your penis. Why? Uh, because uh, you watch all of his press conferences. So, sorry, sorry, but this correlation is so stupid. What is the link between watching a person doing a press conference and drawing a tattoo of that person on a penis? For me, it's more obvious than two plus three equals five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of this. Uh, here's what I have to confess. I made a huge mistake. What's a mistake? Uh, we were about to be lacking in alcohol to do a big batch of our recipe of Purell uh, at the factory. So I placed an order four weeks ago, but I also had to order Crayola pencils for my children. But when I did the orders back to back on the internet, I mixed up the numbers in the orders. I ordered two gallons of alcohol and 2,600 Crayola pencils. I realized my mistake this morning when the two gallons of alcohol arrived. Then just uh, redo the order. Uh, I did, but it's going to arrive in six weeks because of the pandemic, so we won't be able to produce our product during this time of much-needed Purell. Oh, well, the, well, yeah, that, that's not good. Am I fired? No. Just, just give me 10 Crayola pencils and uh, we're even. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You are an understanding man. Uh, I am. You're thank welcome. You very, thank you very much. You're welcome. So we should uh, call some journalists and uh, do uh, to do a press conference about this setback we're going to have. Uh, so you know what to do. Uh, call the journalists uh, to set it up? No, no. Get a tattoo of me on your penis. Since I'm doing uh, a press conference, that's the least you could do. 
You got it. Uh, what do you want to be wearing on your tattoo? A $4,800 tuxedo. You got a deal, Mr. Davidson. Call me Alan. Bon, I call me mm. Alan, c'est un callback. <laughs> Toutes les impôts, ça. <laughs> hey! Thank you for being much, uh, Mr. Davidson. How much time did you put into that? Uh, maybe like... Uh, Two and a half hours. Because <laughs> every like it's they're always funny and they're good, but I'm I'm always wondering after what are you gonna do with them? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> they're just uh, dead now. Okay. But no, there are uh, uh, seriously there are a couple of things in other homeworks uh, that homework you can yeah that I identify home. that I can maybe uh, put on stage and uh, just stand up. I'd love to like, see you in a gala just for here, a gala comedia talking about. Uh, Daniel McCann's uh, tattoo on a penis. <laughs> Daniel McCann's uh, <laughs> tattoo on your penis. That would be classy. It'd be amazing. You know how sometimes in Gallus they always have, especially in Quebec City, they'll have like a Mère La Bombe in yeah. the audience. Or the, so yeah. If you could do one, <laughs> and Dr. Arruda's in the audience, <laughs> and you just talk about how you have his face on your penis <laughs> for, for 11 minutes. Yeah, uh, I think he would appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, but that that uh, and then you could do at the end of your bit, do like Maxim Martin, and when he used to pull his ball out, you pull your pants down, and there's a twist ending. It's not a tattoo of Dr. Arruda. It's a the tattoo of uh, Daniel Macan. Oh, it's oh yeah, yeah. great twist. Yeah, it's a good twist. It's great worth surprise. It. Yeah, <laughs> especially no one will remember what she looks like by the time there's a gala. But do you do you remember now what she uh, what she no, looks like? No idea. She has like she... glasses. And like a, she's a classy woman. She wears like nineteen hundred dollar dress. <laughs> I'll I, I no I'll, I'll Google her when later. I get home. Yeah. While sharpening your knife. While sharpening my knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that because uh, I, it was a tough homework. Yeah. So I, I didn't know I, I had to include you uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, give you consequences of your bad homework. Okay. It was not a bad homework. It's a good homework, but I I, I was not inspired. So. I wasn't sure because when I was at home, you sent it to me. I started reading it, but then I was like, I won't I won't read through all of it because I wanted to be surprised by it mm -hmm. which is a bad thing when you're going to be playing a part well you, you like, didn't botch uh, anything I don't think most actors do that though no I think they I don't th <laughs> I think uh, Robert De Niro reads the script <laughs> at least once yeah <laughs> before The Godfather <laughs> I'd love it in a movie just to see the killer go and why don't say moist <laughs> <laughs> If I knew, I didn't uh, wouldn't have said yes. <laughs> so okay. Um, so uh, what is my the discussion? Because this is going to be our last one for like uh, a couple of weeks. So uh, uh, we have um, just to, to know what the options we have. Okay. I have five uh, improv theme. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Do you want to do an improv before okay. we do? Okay. Uh, because you thought. Yeah, maybe because I. I um, Since you talked about uh, that. And all my improvs suck because you always say that I'm good at improv. So then I feel pressure and then I, I choke. No, but you're yeah. always great. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, shut up. You are perfect to me. <laughs> so uh, five teams. Uh, first one, uh, because you just uh, mentioned him. You are Horatio Arruda. Okay. I am François Legault discussing if we should have exemptions to the upcoming red zone alert. Okay. Okay. So you are Arruda. So I'm Arruda and, and I'm you're, Legault. Uh, all right. And neither of us are going to try to mimic them. Okay. But well, maybe you. I don't know. You, have you studied uh, Arruda's uh, demeanor? Not really. Yeah. Okay. Have okay. you studied uh, Legault's demeanor? No. Okay. But I'm, uh, I'm, I have such a big uh, um, uh, registre de jeu. Okay. A big, uh, <laughs> what is uh, like a uh, registre de jeu in English? Uh, you, your, your range of acting. Range is, of acting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah your range, yeah. I yeah, range is yeah. good. Yeah. Range is good. I applaud the you, okay. professor. I think okay. That, So I'm, I'm uh, Dr. Arruda and you're uh, François Legault. Yeah, let's say like we are like... Uh, uh, We hear like we read lots of things on Twitter and we don't know what to do and uh, we have uh, like a secret meeting. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Hey, Horacio. Hey, uh, why do we talk in English? I don't know. <laughs> uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good also, but uh, it's a bit, a bit of st stressful times. How come? Uh, <laughs> uh, COVID-19. Oh, is that still a thing? Yeah, that's something that is very uh, modern subject. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just Google. You, I, you, I you, didn't. No, I just got a text message. Uh, my mother died. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my sympathies. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you just don't seem to care. I, knew, I didn't know her that well. You didn't know her that well? No, I didn't know her that well. Uh, but uh, how come? Uh, didn't she uh, immigrate here uh, with you? Yeah, but I, th I thought she had died uh, a long time ago. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, You I remember I went to I went to someone's funeral. <laughs> yeah, but just a woman, maybe. Yeah, just a woman. Yeah. I was yelling "mama, mama," and I was, I was crying, and then the people threw me out. So it's like a second grief for you. It's, it is, yeah. And you seem like uh, smiling. Um, yeah, I'm I have vitamin D. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we gotta. No, I'm just kidding though, because I'm. Yeah, uh, everyone knows I'm. I'm the funny doctor. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so what do we do? Sometimes are you dancing a little? I dance a little uh, whenever a shitty rapper asks me to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He has to be a very shitty rapper, though. Okay. If it's a good rapper, no fucking way. Okay. So a shitty rapper. I'm. I'm so let let's say I'm MC Solar. No. Solar uh, Solar MC. No. You don't. Not interested. No. no. So uh, MC Solar. Who? KCLMNOP. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, um, do you think uh, we should, uh, because people are going to be mad okay. if we... Okay, so uh, we, we got to figure out uh, if we close bars, okay? So you, you before, I'll be against, and we'll do rock, paper, scissors. Just, okay. Okay. All right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Okay, right. tie. That's a so tie. What, what, what so that do? means we close everything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't she say she didn't she say that before? Yeah, because I thought you knew. You you don't know the rules of rock paper scissors. Yeah, but I I didn't know you were going to make scissors. Yeah, that's that's that that's uh, yeah. Because everyone because you say rock paper and then everyone does scissors. Because okay. that's the last thing you heard. But I always play Look, with. We'll match. do it again. Look, we'll do we'll do uh, paper, paper, scissors, rock. And okay. I, I put a rock. And then you put a rock. Okay. Go Paper, ahead. Paper, scissors, rock. I win. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you tricked me. Yeah. That's why I'm a doctor and you're a stupid pr premier. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you are very uh, smart. I'm a man. bully. Yeah. People don't know that about me. I'm a uh, bully. I'm oh. a doctor. Yeah, you are a doctor. I went, I went to medical school. Ask me anything about medicine. I'll, I'll answer it. Okay. Uh, what is thrombosis? Uh, it, it, uh, I need a multiple choice, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you're a bad doctor. No, right? I just need... Because uh, all of the tests when you go to med school... Okay, so uh, thromb choice. thrombosis is a cardiac... A, a cardiac arrest. Okay. B, uh, a, uh, une echard. Okay. <laughs> C, a mole. Okay. Or D, a uh, blood condition. Okay. Uh, I'd like to use one of my lifelines. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you want to phone a friend? I'm going to phone a friend. Okay. I'm going to call my... Am I going to be a friend or you're just yeah. going to do the improv alone? No, I, I'm, I'm going to call my friend and then you're going to be my friend. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, who am I? Uh, you, you decide when you pick up the phone. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Will. Will? Yeah, who is it? Who's that? Mike? The uh, Dr. Arruda. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Chris, the guy is far on his own. You're a very good son. <laughs> 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 you're, you're very good at improv. Oh, All right. yeah, Horatio, yeah. Well, what is, the, what is the pleasure? Why do I have the pleasure of... Uh, okay, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm with... <laughs> God, <it's, laughs> I'm, I'm with, uh, thank you for being so polite, but I'm with uh, uh, Premier Legault, and uh, oh. he, he thinks I'm a real doctor. So uh, he, he asked the question. The, um, isn't he going to hear what you're saying loud now? No, he's, uh, he's uh, watching, uh, he's playing a video game. Okay. Yeah. Tetris? No, he is playing Tetris. He's, he's quite good. He's very good. He's, yeah, he's very skillful. Okay. Yeah, so he had a question. Uh, um, Are you going to remember all the, 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 
the multiple choice. It was it was uh, <laughs> something about uh, thrombosis. Yeah. And uh, the uh, D was uh, something about a blood clot. A blood condition, maybe no. But, but, <laughs> but maybe a blood condition. <laughs> okay. So I thought it was A, but I forget what A was. Uh, wasn't A uh, like a uh, uh, a cardiac arrest? No, uh, I don't think. What 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 is it? A thrombosis. A thrombosis, yeah. Okay, thrombosis. I think B was a nishard. Yeah, so I think B makes the most sense. <laughs> really? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Yeah, because whenever whenever the answer sounds like just a funny French word, that's the right one. Uh, what is D again? D D was a blood condition. Okay. Did you use your 50-50? Uh, no, I just called you. Okay, so I think it's D. I think I think it's B. You think it's B? You want I to use it? I think you should use the 50 50 when we think, hang up. But I think a child is funnier than blood condition. Yeah, but if I'm if if I'm looking at this in a in a, in a medical way, in a medical way, <laughs> yeah. generally the right answer is the funny one. Yeah, but you, it's like a, what is the what is the amount related to the question? Because it's not a joke when it's like a 500,000 question. But uh, we're not. This isn't even a, a quiz. Oh. Like a, 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 it's not a game show, so I don't know why. <laughs> why I called you? Why? What kind of uh, reunion do you have, guys? No, it's just we're having a meeting to see if we should uh, close down our businesses. And you're COVID. doing like wants to be a millionaire? Or yeah, what? yeah, because he, because the fucking he, the prime minister, he, he he likes that type of shit. Oh, he likes Tetris, and he wants yeah, he to be a millionaire. Tetris, he likes old TV shows. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going with D, but you can go with B. Okay. Okay. If you want, but uh, let's say you do whatever. But uh, okay. I have to go uh, uh, do my teriyaki salmon. Sorry, I have to hang up. You gotta do what? Teriyaki salmon. Teriyaki salmon. Are you uh, are you a chef? No, I'm not. But I just cook for my wife. Okay, I didn't even know you were married. <laughs> I didn't know either. What, but, what's uh, her name? The name of my wife. Yeah, Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, I, I sometimes I. I uh, I say Lucy, 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 just to a uh, charmer, I and mean, she she l lubricates. Does she? She gets wet by that song. Yeah. She gets all Lucy and wet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that was a joke about her having a big yeah. pussy. Yeah, a understood. Big sloppy but, uh, wet pussy. Do you uh, <laughs> do you uh, did you take your uh, vitamin D recently? <laughs> I took some vitamin D. Yeah, and okay. I, I I ate some mushrooms. But we have to catch up soon, though. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm doing teriyaki salmon. Okay, yeah. So do you want me to get the uh, premiere and we can go help you? But don't you have like uh, important things to discuss? No. Because <laughs> he likes uh, he the thing three things he likes the most. Uh, he likes uh, Tetris. He likes uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And he likes uh, fish recipes. Okay, so yeah, Asian fish recipes. But he doesn't care about uh, the pandemic right now. He doesn't now. care. Okay, so no. you guys gonna want to come over? Do, should we bring something? Uh, maybe uh, a little bread. A little red. A little bread. A little bread. I forgot I the little letter little B. The letter B for okay. me is oh, like so a, a bread. A bread. A bread. And like, maybe like uh, Agendaz ice cream. Okay. The the nothing goes better with uh, Japanese fish <laughs> than uh, bread and uh, ice cream. <laughs> Or you can, if you think someone is, something is more... Uh, apropos. Uh, apropos. How about some rice? You want okay. some rice? Yeah, but I have a salad, but a rice could be fine. Okay. So yeah. we'll bring rice. Yeah. All right. So I think uh, we should hang up now. All right. Good, good luck with oh, your... Wait, your wait one second. I have a call on the other line. Okay. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes. Who's this? Uh, it's um, Laurent Julep. Uh, you ordered, uh, you ordered something. The the Laurent Julep. The what do you guys sell? Uh, we sell hamburgers. We sell like milkshakes. Do you sell something that'd be good with uh with the teriyaki salmon? Uh do you maybe have, a cheeseburger. Do you have, oh, you know what we could do. Uh, just get rid of the cheese and the burger and just the bread. <laughs> okay. Can I get that? Yeah, you can. Do you have rice? Uh, we don't, sorry. Then fuck you. We're going to close restaurants. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That was a surprise ending. <laughs> yeah, very surprise yeah. ending. <laughs> and uh, so, um, for if like let's say people at home or here were like uh, hanging on their uh, seat, not not their seat, yeah, hanging, hanging, hanging on their seat, yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> hanging on their. It sounds like an, a real expression, but I forget what the expression is. And now hanging that, on that's, their, uh, I don't know, but that. Because hanging on the edge of their seat. On the not hanging though, just on the edge of their seat. Yeah, people are on the edge of their seat because they want to, to know what was going to happen with the wants to be a millionaire question. Are, do you think they are disappointed? Disappointed at home? I uh, know. I think. Uh, I think they're they're happy. The RP is now yeah, over. Uh, yeah, exactly. The meeting with Le Gou and Arouda yeah. is over. <laughs> okay. So do you want to do another improv? Oh yes. <laughs> okay. I certainly do because I I don't know what surprise is going to come. <laughs> Then people are very intrigued. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I like this one. Uh, you are Jer Alain. Okay. Hosting uh, the WhatsApp podcast. And your guest this week is former President Barack Obama. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. <laughs> I'm going to be Barack. Okay. If you don't mind. And you're going to be Jer Alain. Okay. Wow. So. Uh, All right. Uh, well, since you're the host, you're going you're gonna to have to start. Just with the president. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not familiar with French, but yeah. Wha what's your name? You fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> you really are nice. Oh yeah. So uh, you uh, you were a president. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was the former president before Donald Trump. That's not. Nice. You're cool. Yeah. You you like that? I do. Okay. You have questions for me? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, do you do you want to do you, do you want to have my my friend uh my friend that shows a uh, what what's his name the <laughs> the <laughs> the, uh, the guy that's in a band that shows his anus. <laughs> I I don't know. Orange Orange Mechanic. What? Who is Orange Mechanic? The, the movie, uh, you mean the movie of, uh, of um, George uh, Lucas? Is that, George is that Lu his last name, Orange Mechanic? Uh, Orange Lessard. Orange Lessard, yeah. Do you know who uh, Orange Lessard is? Why would I know who Orange Lessard is? Because you're not president anymore. Yeah, but I, I, I have like uh, American culture mostly like uh, uh, that is uh, driven to me. But it's a little So uh, do you you don't uh, realize that other places exist? Yes, but uh, I said yes to the past cat because I heard good things about you. But you are who, not, you who don't talk to about prepare. me? Huh? Who talked about me to you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it was Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. Do you know I, who Joe Biden is? I did. I had Joe Biden on the podcast. You did? Yeah. When was that? I, uh, I, I saw all your... I didn't watch all of them. But I checked all the guests you had. I saw you had the Cain recently. And I I'm Cain, a big... I, had, uh, we, I did uh, beer pong. And I'm sorry if sometimes I have a Quebec accent. Other times I forget. But I had uh, Cain. <laughs> I had uh, Joe Biden. I had... Uh, but is it possible that Joe Biden episode is, uh, has not aired yet? It's uh, just uh, for me, Patreon. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What is a Patreon? Uh, Patreon. Well, what is that? I'm not familiar with the term. Patreon is a, is a, like a website to to give uh, people give you money for your uh, for your content. Yeah, your English is suddenly better. It I, is. Yeah. You're progressing uh, very yeah, it's, fast. It's because of Joe Biden. Okay. I met Joe Biden and then he uh, he fell asleep on the podcast and I stole all his language. Okay. <laughs> So how was it being a uh, president? Uh, it was fun. A fun eight years, I would say. Uh, I think we uh, we managed to uh, progress in uh, lots of uh, uh, sectors, and uh, I, f I still love Michelle Obama. She's a great wife. You know what, Michelle? I like. No, Michelle Grenier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think uh, Michelle Obama would sign me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who is Michel Grenier? I'm sorry. Michel Grenier is a man who takes pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just that? He, just he takes pictures and he runs stuff. 
What does he run? Stuff. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you want the Michelle to uh, to manage you? Mich- my I wife. Want, I want your wife to manage me. But she's not a manager. She's she's just my wife, and she she does like uh, lots of. Uh, she's just chari- your wife. No, she just does like so uh, charity work and uh, very uh, very. Uh, but you said she's just my wife. <laughs> yeah, I, like she's yeah. a stupid bitch. I didn't say that. I Did you see you'd get home? Well, you you worked from home when you were at the White House, but you'd go to the West Wing or whatever wherever you live. Is it the West Wing is where you work, and the East Wing is where you live? Uh, I live in the East Wing. Yes. Okay. So when you'd go to the East Wing, I was doing lots of teletravail. Be- okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was she doing during the day? Uh, lots of uh, charity with children. She was uh, helping my, our daughters with their homework. Okay. Uh, she's very good at in math. But that's not charity, though. No, I was uh, giving other examples. If you uh, remember, did I she said, say that? Would you, like when she'd help your kids with their homework? Would she go bon? J'ai fait mon bénévolat. No. I don't know what bon. J'ai fait mon bénévolat means. Whoops. <laughs> What is uh, j'ai fait mon bénévolat? It's uh, stuff that you tell a kid. Really? Yeah, if you don't love them. But each time, I, I, I don't think you're a bad guy, but each time you say sentences in French, I think you might be trolling me. I don't know what you're saying. Christé cave. <laughs> what? What's, what Christé cave means? That means you're, you're a good person. Okay, a good yeah. president. Was I a good president a, in your you eyes? You were an amazing president. Okay, but yeah. I see you have your cell phone. You have no questions? Uh, I do. <laughs> Wait a second. All right. Okay. Uh, How much time is that going to last? Because I have like a tight schedule. Do, uh, well, well, you, uh, you're doing another podcast? No, no. Yes, well, uh, maybe. Uh, I might be on... Um, Trois bien. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trois bières or uh, les beaux dimanches. Oh, or, uh, or les petits. Is that what les beaux dimanches was? That what Simon de Lille? Yeah, les, bon, <laughs> les, les, les bons dimanches. Les bons dimanches. Yeah. Sorry, because it's yeah. it's in French. Your Quebec culture isn't good. Yeah, it's les bons dimanches with Simon right. de Lille. I'm doing okay. that uh, just after. That, that was my third question. It was, uh, est-ce que c'est les bons dimanches ou les beaux dimanches? Okay. I, I think it's uh, Les Bons Dimanches. If okay, I, uh, so see, you do understand French because I read that in French. Yeah, I'm progressing. Yeah. So you understood also, when I said Chris de Cap? No, th- I, that I did not understand. You didn't? Okay. Because Chris sounds like a made up word. Chris is a, a, a word I made up. It's like a word like a Christ? Is it like, a, it's close, it sounds close to Christ. Is that like uh, no, a curse word? No, it's for uh, Chris Chelios. Oh, Chris Chelios, the, the, the hockey player. Okay. Yeah. He's a big star in Montreal. Yeah. yeah. I know Chris Chelios. Yeah. I, f- I follow more basketball, but I, I follow hockey a little. Chris Chelios, extremely bad basketball player. Yeah. Yeah. I manage. Yeah. He you know what's funny? What? His, uh, his name sounds like a cereal. <laughs> That's a shitty joke, Mr. President. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I yeah. suddenly fell uh, felt comfortable to do that joke. But okay. I, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, Chris, because of Cheerios. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What did you think? It I sound- thought it was because of... Uh, uh, crispy, crispy snack? Yeah. yeah I <laughs> no, or crispy kernels? Yeah, or sugar crisp. Or sugar crisp. Sugar, sugar crisp tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're starting to have a bit of chemistry. We do. We should host uh, the Grammys together. You and uh, yeah, you and me and Jerry. Uh, you uh, no, you're. Uh, I, I'm Jerry. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, a very good actor because I'm exactly like Jerry. But do you think it would be a good duo for Grammys? It would be amazing. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a uh, one last question or? I do. Uh, what number was uh, Chris Chelios? I think it was 24. With the Canadians. It was 22. No, it was not. <laughs> you sure? I think I'm sure. I'll do. 24? Yeah, I'll you can check. Google it, but I don't think it's with 22. Chris Chelios. People are hanging on the edge of their seat. <laughs> Chris Chelios was... Uh, it, oh, it doesn't say his number. But if you go to... A, a, oh, it says he was number seven and then 24 with the Canadians. 
So, got you, man. You did. Fucking asshole. You don't know, don't know shit about hockey, and it's your like yeah. a hometown sport. I'm from the United States, and I know Chris Shields, yo, number. Tabarnak, que je l'ai botché cette phrase-là, mais on a compris. Ah ouais. So, uh, fuck you, jerk. <laughs> That's very hurtful. Are you hurt now? I am hurt now. Yeah, I'm you... sensitive. People don't realize that about me. Yeah. Because I drink and I swear. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a very sensitive man. And you man. train a lot in your... Uh, I work out. All I do is I work out and I drink. Okay. Yeah. Don't you think it uh, like uh, it it, uh, it ruins the, the training when you drink? It makes the training fun. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... Uh, has your experience with Joe Biden uh, more pleasant than with me? Joe Biden, uh, was he seemed uh, more mixed up than you. But uh, it was fun. I like Joe Biden. You like Joe Biden? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, a good you, dude. You really sound like Mike Ward right yeah, now. Yeah, no. It's, I'm Jerry Alley. No, not at all. No. <laughs> so if you want to conclude your podcast, it's it's your your thing because I, I, I might have to go soon. But uh, Where are you going, though? You never I'm going me. to Les, les, les Bons Dimanches. Okay. <laughs> yeah, What, Simon Delisle is, uh, is texting me. I received uh, Simon Delisle. Uh, Barack, where are you at? Okay. What do you want well, to respond um, to him? Uh, just to tell him to fuck off. Fuck off, Simon Delisle? Yeah, just, just fuck off. Okay. Um, I'm fuck busy, off. bitch. I'm busy, bitch. That's, that's, that's rude. Yeah. yeah. That is rude, though. Fuck him. You're the president. Yeah, I'm the former president. Yeah, still the president. Okay. Yeah, and sign it, sign it 44. Okay. Yeah, since you're the 44th 44. president. 44. Okay, yeah. uh, I've just sent it. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So you were the 44th president? Yeah, that w was a question. Yeah. You? And was Chris Tellius the 24th president? <laughs> no. He was never president? No, I don't think he was. You sure? I'm sure. Vice president? No. Secretary of State or... No. No. He played for the the Blackhawks and the Red Wings after the Canadians. Okay. But never president. No. Hmm. We learned something. That's all the questions you have about that's Chris all the, Chelios. It's all about that's all I know is Chris Chelios. Yeah. That's not very yeah. good research you did. I know a lot about Chris Chelios, I just didn't know his number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do you, do you, do you think it's a little better my my uh, Chris Cherios joke? The jo do you think uh, with a, avec un peu de recul? I think do you think it <laughs> gets better? I think it's aged well. It aged well, yeah. 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 Do you think if I do ever if I ever do a comedy, do you think I should open with this that joke? That should no. That you should close with that. I should close with it because Chris it's Cheerios so strong. Chris Cherios and uh, and uh, Cheerios, and then you drop the mic. But what if I drop a cereal bowl? That's fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're on to something. I think you just reinvented comedy. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm going to be a better comedian than you were a president? A good president. You're going to be a great comic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Jer. Yeah. You're a great guy. I, am I love a your great tattoo. Guy. I love your tattoos. Do you have one of me? I, I have one of you on right next to Daniel uh, McCann. <laughs> okay. I can't tell you where it is, but I can tell you. You have more uh, clothes she, on than uh, she naked? does. Uh, no, she, that's vulgar. <laughs> and, uh, what, what is she wearing? She's wearing a, a $1,900 dress. Okay. Are we starting a loop now? We are. We're just, uh, <laughs> the, this fucking podcast will never end now. <laughs> uh, do we so I think we should uh, end on that big joke. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that killer. That it was ki a killer. It was an amazing joke, yeah. You, you have to clap for that killer. Oh, no. I have a, a that I, sketch I, was so bad that people were like, I "Can't wait to be home for 28 days." <laughs> <laughs> that was a good moment. Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe one last one, and then okay. maybe we could do it short. And then, if then, then we'll do uh, we'll do a last discussion. Okay. Yeah, uh, we are two identical twins of uh, 44 years old. Okay. Okay. For the first time in our lives. You want us to look different, so you want to do a change, but don't want me to copy. Okay. Because you want to differentiate from me. Okay. And it's and like we're big news for me because uh, because we're always been identical. Okay. So you 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 come up to me and uh, whatever. So three, two, one, action. Hey. Hello. How's it going? It's going. It's going pretty good. I. Uh, 
I just had a good meal and uh, I'm happy. I, uh, I think we should have uh, different looks. Because I'm you... tired of having people see us and they're not sure if it's me or you. But we've been doing that for 44 years. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just getting annoying now. Okay. Yeah. Why, what do you propose? I have two things. One of them is a little extreme. The other one may, may be easier. One of them that I find hard is uh, we'd have to buy different clothes instead of always buying packs of two shirts and then yeah. you get one, I get one. But uh, it's, uh, I like that though. But I'd, I'd buy all of my shirts and then... Uh, Or here's another thing that's easier. Uh, have you ever thought that uh, maybe you're not a hundred percent man? <laughs> uh, no. Because here's the thing. I know a doctor, and he told me if you take uh, estrogen every day for a year, then uh, he can give you uh, a, a boob job. And he can make you a vagina. But why would I do that, my brother? So that people wouldn't fucking uh, think I'm you. Yeah, but I think you always you were always proud of the... the uh, yeah, but if you have... It's, it'd be nice to be uh, different. You want, but why, are you, why, why not you the women? Because I don't want to be a woman. <laughs> I don't want to be a woman either. Then why have you been taking uh, estrogen pills that I put in your cereal every morning for the last <laughs> year? I have. Yeah. I, I don't... Do you think I, there is like a... Have you noticed you used to have chest hair and now you have like little boobs? Yeah. That's you didn't true. think that was weird? Yeah, I thought it was me eating too much, but... Yeah, no, but you're, you were getting chubby just from your tits. You didn't think that was weird? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit weird. All right. But, uh, so, that, that, but it's not, it's a bit criminal what you did, though. It's not criminal. Yeah, you just imposed uh, me uh, some tits. No, but I had a, I had a prescription. The doctor gave me a prescription. Yeah, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, acknowledge. You it. did. You did. I even I signed your name when I went in, and uh, you you can go to court, but they have video footage of you signing your name, because we look the same. I even said to the camera, I said, "I'm, I'm my stupid brother." Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but you know, uh, you don't have a I'm, a, I'm a bit sad because I. I I always say that the, my favorite person in the world you're is my... You're a bit sad because women are sensitive. That's <laughs> why you're sad. It's just normal. Okay, maybe yeah. you're right, but uh, yeah. I, it's true that I always uh, ask people uh, lately uh, how they, they, they think my, my hair looks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I... Uh, I want to uh, to have a chocolate for Valentine. Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? Uh, do you want to pick out your vagina, or you want me to do it? Uh, we can choose together, maybe. Oh, nice. That'd be a nice uh, brother brother moment. Yeah. Do you have like options right now? Or? I do. Okay, you're prepared for this. You yeah. Mean. Look, uh, look on uh, the, on your uh, on your phone. My phone. Yeah. I I see. I'll, I'll send you, you it. You send me something. Yeah. Okay. I oh, dropped nice. it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the black one. The b <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, that might clash with the, my white skin, though. Stop being racist. I'm not being racist. I just want a pussy. You have a beautiful that, black pussy. I want a pussy that is co coherent with the rest of my body. You want a white, white pussy? I want a uh, pussy that, is, that blends with the, my, my, uh, my, my, my leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> All right. So, white pussy. A white pussy, but you, we, if let's say we we uh, we uh, we uh, we take a sample of my uh, skin tone, okay. and I want a pussy that will like be the continuation of my leg and, and be okay. a, a credible pussy. Okay, and you want a white even on the inside? Uh, I want it blue inside, ideally. Okay. Yeah. That's a very healthy pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a blue, nice blue pussy. Yeah, but I, I think only uh, people who are gonna go down on me are gonna see the blue, though, right? Yeah, because it's not gonna. Let's say I, I take a shower and people s uh, see me in the shower, they won't see the blue inside the pussy. You'd have to open it. 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah. why would I do that? Yeah, yeah. And why are you taking showers with other people? <laughs> Sometimes at the gym after uh, like uh, badminton. Yeah, they're not going to let you do that anymore, though. For 28 days. For uh, no, but even after that, because you you'll have to switch showers. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because you can't you can't have that. You don't want to be that crazy woman with the blue pussy <laughs> at the gym. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Oh. But the good thing is, the I, I went into the, because I've been checking this out for you. At your gym in the women's <laughs> washroom, the women have their own separate shower. And I know how much you like having your own shower. I do. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so that's you've done lots I, of yeah, research. I've, I've, I thought about this a lot, yeah. But uh, the, the thing that uh, annoys me is that like you, you prepared a lot of things and you didn't uh, like... Um, Give me notice and you no. just uh, arrive. I, I even, I even, uh, I've been pretending to be you mm -hmm. for the last month with your wife. And uh, I told her this morning that, uh, I, that uh, you were leaving her because you were born in the wrong body. You, but you pretended to be me or you were yeah, me? Like I, I pretended to be you. I told her I was born in the wrong body. And then she said, please, Stanley, uh, what are you doing? Then I told her to fuck off. And then she told me to fuck off. Then I pushed her down the stairs. Okay. Is yeah. she dead or? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't dead dead. She was like on the edge of dying. Dead-ish. Yeah. Okay. Dead-ish. Yeah. Like a, like a, a, a um, yeah, like a uh, end of a coma, beginning of a death. Okay, like the, the tunnel with the light? Yeah, like? well, she was, she was cold, but she didn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of brother are you? Dad? It's like a big discovery because I always thought we were like super tight. Uh, you were super gentle and now you, you're like, uh, uh, like a murderer and you're like... Yeah. Uh, Bro twin brothers are supposed to think alike and think alike and feel the same things, and that's when I saw that we you don't like murder. No, at all. I don't you're, like. You're it. always whenever I'm talking about murder, you're always. Yes, yes. Well, it's a normal reaction. No, it's not. Not if you're my twin brother. Yeah, but the, it, it it comes out out of the blue like my pussy. Like, yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah. The, I mean, uh, it, 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 you were always gentle. The, your murderer uh, kicks, yeah. <laughs> not kicks, but your murder uh, passion uh, is just That's erupting. That's the best way to murder. If you're aggressive, people are afraid of you. But if you're the nice guy, then they're like, oh, he's a nice guy. And then they become your friend, push him down the stairs. <laughs> so uh, basically, I don't have a wife anymore. And I'm don't now a, a, a woman. And you're wanted for murder in uh, Nevada. Okay, because that's where you pushed my wife. I, br or? I brought her to Vegas right before the whole confinement. What did you did you like pretend to her that you wanted to get married? I told her this is going to be our second honeymoon. Okay. I told her get a long dress that uh, uh <laughs> that that I can tie up into sort of a bag, and uh, okay. before I chuck you in the river. Oh, Vegas doesn't have rivers. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I that fuck, I should have Googled. <laughs> yeah. You have a warm art. I do. Yeah. I didn't because I thought you've been married to her for a long time. 18 years. 18 yeah. years. And I figured, you know, it's the least I can do is dump her in the river. But uh, do you have like uh, ambitions uh, to, to steal other things in my life? Mm, you're, I was going to steal your job, but uh, I, I, you got fired. So I can't, because I, I went in. I was going to steal your job, and then after three, I uh, pretended I was you, mm -hmm. and then they, they, didn't, they didn't think you were doing a very good job after three days, so they fired you. Okay. So yeah. basically, I have no life anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, you're not a dentist anymore. That shit's hard. Yeah, But it's I hard. In, yeah. I, I, I studied like yeah. uh, 10 years for that. Yeah, they, you, that's what you've been telling me since before. I'm a real doctor. I was like, that's not a real doctor. <laughs> You fucking clean teeth. It's a lot harder than cleaning teeth. Yeah, but what did you do to my patient? I, you know, there was one guy, uh, he had, uh, he thought he had a cavity. And, and then I, I pulled out the wrong tooth. And then uh, he got mad at me. So I, I told him, you fucking shut your mouth. or I'm going to pull out another tooth. 
And then he said, fuck you. And then I said, oh, fuck me. Fuck you. And then I pulled out all his teeth. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I understand why you got fired then. I did. Yeah, your boss is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> boss is a fucking dick. No, but you did like, uh, you did, you botched all one your... One, co- I practiced on one guy. It was so hard. I figured, look, I can fuck up eight or nine people or I can just fuck this guy up <laughs> big time. <laughs> so I fucked him up and then I'm good now. I, I could be a real dentist. With my credentials. Yeah, with your credentials. Because some people learn oh. in school. I learn, you know, I'm the j'apprends sur le tour, like they say in French. <laughs> I, I, yeah. But what's left for me then? You, you can be, uh, 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 you're going to be a woman with your, your big blue pussy, and uh, you can take my job. What do you do exactly? I don't remember. I'm, uh, I, I uh, hand out um, a public sex. Oh uh, fuck! Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't have an uh, official run yet, so I. I just. Uh, I'm. I'm out on the street, and then. Uh, so you're uh, pre- you pretending to to uh, to distribute public sacks? No, I. I am for real, but it's because I'm. I'm. Not, they. My boss says I'm not ready to to go to people's houses. So I'm on the corner of the street, and then people think I'm homeless guy selling. Uh, oh. and I'm like no no uh, I think it's and, li- li- uh, <laughs> and then I, I, I think it, I think it's li- l'itinéraire not l'itinéraire oh yeah yeah, no. <laughs> yeah just to be yeah. just to be clear but <laughs> is it public sac though I think it's public sac okay, but it's, it's public not l'itinéraire it's, it's okay yeah. so but uh, how is that a fair exchange for me though from a dentist to a public sac de- deliverer how, mu- how much does a dentist get paid Uh, maybe like uh, 2,100 a year. Uh, two, uh, sorry, 200,000 200, a year. 200,000 yeah? a year. Yeah, okay, yeah. Public so is like not, what? Uh, it's not as much. But do you uh, get paid <laughs> uh, under the table? Uh, no. Yeah, so you have to declare it. Yeah. So it's the same. <laughs> But uh, what, what is the, 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 the net amount you receive? A week or a year? <laughs> a year? <laughs> 70. Seventy thousand. Seventy dollars. I get seventy dollars. But what is the? You you had an argument that two hundred thousand. But I I I have like a, to put to declare it. But that's still like one twenty five. Because taxes are so fucking high in Quebec. Yeah, but it's seventy dollars. Uh, like under the table is like still fucking seventy. Seventy. Everyone listen to Pierre Yves McSween. He always says <laughs> that. You make two hundred thousand a year. That's like making seventy under the under the table. It's the, the same thing. You, so you 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 listen to Lenzis McSween. I listen uh, to Lenz. That's all I do. I listen to Lenzis McSween, <laughs> and then I give out a public sack on the corner of the road. You have a great life. It is. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I don't want some fucking asshole dentist looking like me. Shit. Yeah. Okay, so what? Uh, You're ruining my fucking vibe. I'm, so I'm, out on, I'm out on the street. I'm fucking handling my business. Yeah, but but fucking the chicks are we gonna love to, me. Are we gonna have to trade hobbies? No. Because I, uh, you you just scrabble. You're not, you're not fucking stealing my stabbing thing. Oh, that's I, not that's a hobby. It is a hobby. Stabbing. Stabbing. It's a crime. No, murder is a crime. Stabbing is a hobby. <laughs> you're not gonna steal that from me no i'm not yeah. I'm, a, i'm a pacifist i fucking i worked hard on that nickname what what, what is your nickname stabby steve <laughs> <laughs> they call me stabby steve okay yeah and you like it i fucking love it stabby steve yeah, whenever i walk down the street people are like stabby steve i'm like you know it <laughs> 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 <rire> le pire c'est que pendant cette impro là j'étais comme on dirait qu'elle je veux jamais qu'elle finisse ah. <rire> mais on va l'arrêter je mais je savais même pas où que ça on s'en allait <rire> les deux frères jumeaux complètement déficients <rire> ah, celle-là moi je suis attaché à cette impro là 
C'est un peu triste qu'elle arrête. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sad. It's, uh, it's got to end. I want, when, when I die, I don't know if I'm going to die in like 50 years or in three oh, weeks. Oh, no, but, much sooner. Yeah. But when I die, <laughs> I want that to play during the, the ceremony. The, that improv? Yeah, just that improv. And uh, if, let's say you die before me, do you want me uh, to tell Michel Grenier that uh, you want that to be uh, screened, is that screen, uh, not screened, or diffusé, projeté? Projected. Or, projected, yeah, like at your funeral? Yeah, and I and even want that, that, on, on that's the... That's my greatest work. <laughs> on the tombstone, Mike Stebby Steve Wood. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you die before I do, what I'd like them to do with my body is just dig up, <laughs> dig up your coffin, empty you out, and put me in. <laughs> <laughs> or just, or not dig you out, because that'd be uh, that that wouldn't be respectful. But take I'll take all the dirt out and then just dump me on top of the. That's on, very yeah. respectful. Yeah, but it's respectful <laughs> for it's it's disrespectful for me because yeah. I wouldn't bother your corpse. I just land on top of your coffin. Is corpse a word? Yeah, corpse is a word. Yeah, I remember yeah. now, but it sounded weird. Yeah, corpse is like body. No, it's but a it, dead body. Okay, well, yeah. cor when you use corpse, the person is dead. Yeah, it's always a dead person. Okay. Yeah, yeah you never say, like, if uh, you, yeah, uh, she you're has with a, sexy a woman, corpse. you're like, you got, <laughs> you got a sweet corpse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for cla clarifying yeah. because uh, that might have been my yeah. pickup line. Yeah. <laughs> your pussy is the, <laughs> the highlight of your sexy corpse. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> when you meet, if if you meet your psychiatrist and your psychiatrist can't do it that day, and then you have the other psychiatrist that is English, <laughs> you're like, you know what I like about a corpse? <laughs> I'm an ass man. <laughs> the ass is the nicest part of the corpse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, so uh, you want to do a, like a quick um, uh, Yeah, we can do a Lancer de discussion. What time is it? Perfect. Um, do you want, uh, because there are three uh, um, There's possibilities. There's the party mode. We should do the party mode. Party mode? Since uh, parties are going to be illegal for a month. Yeah. So this is going to be the last party. Okay. Before 28 days. But when people are going to wish for a party... I think I think they're gonna listen to this segment. You think? And like drink till yeah. they die. And then do they'll do cocaine alone in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. But just people in the red zone. Yeah, just yeah. Because in the yellow zone they can uh, do yellow. cocaine all the time yeah. and they don't have to listen to this. Okay. What are the other zones of Quebec? Because red red is uh, la, like uh, what's uh, Montérégie? Uh, I think it's yellow. Yeah, it's not But even orange. On the ver oh no, yeah, it's orange. Okay. On, uh, on uh, uh, orange and threatening to become red. Threatening? Uh, not the uh, not the color, but okay. uh, the con the the status. Okay. How about like uh, Sherbrooke, like Lestrie? How much? Uh, where are they? At? Uh, I'm not an expert in the okay. zone colors, but okay. uh, I think like uh, Fermont is probably white. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that's all I know. Or maybe like Le Sagné is probably like the 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 first uh, on the scale. I don't know the scale of White, the colors. White, yellow. I think it's uh, red, orange, yellow, and green. I wonder if that woman was it in the Sagné or Lac Saint Jean that the woman the the video that she couldn't go shit in restaurants. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't uh, remember. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get too high because then she's gonna fucking lose her mind. If she couldn't take a shit yeah. this summer, she you should just she, buy diapers. Or maybe she 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 doesn't leave home to be yeah. sure to yeah. be able she to can't shit, shit somewhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Fucking. Hell. Do you have empathy for that woman? How can you leave your house? What kind of civilization do we live in when you can't take a shit? At every store you visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do a, a tourney. <laughs> like, la tournée des bars, la tournée des shit. That woman shits way too much. I wonder if her, parent, if her kids were like... Oh, Proud? Like, yeah. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> or... 
Who do you think is proudest between that woman and the children of the guy who says un peu way? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a toss up. Yeah. It's the un un peu way guy. The, At least. Do you think he has children, the un peu way guy? No, no. <laughs> he does not. not. No, he, no way he has children. And the good thing But about him he has. is he, whether the restaurants let you shit in the bathroom or not, He doesn't care. Like, <laughs> COVID, That's for true. COVID, he's shitting in his pants. Because that was before the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when he shit his pants. Yeah, that was the highlight of yeah. my life, I think. Fuck. You know how crazy... Because we imagine that guy to, to be like, keep working... I don't even think he works, and if he does, he probably like uh, passes public sex or like I don't imagine him. But imagine you fucking buy a house and you go see your notary. And it's him, <laughs> or, or or you go like you hire a like, lawyer, and on his chair yeah. he's like moving his ass, like yeah. hey, he's you, on the the edge. You hire a lawyer, and then you, you're in court, and you're like, oh fuck, it's him. <laughs> and then you ask him, you go, it's a toy, and he goes, I better wait. I hope he's that'd be that'd make me happy if he had a really good job. Like a great was, house. Not even just a doctor, but a specialist. <laughs> like he he's is like a, he's, a neurosurgeon. He's the cancer guy yeah. at the gym. <laughs> he's, the, he's the guy. He's the go-to guy. If, if you have cancer, you go to the Jewish general. Yeah. You get doctor, doctor, whatever. <laughs> doctor, whatever. <laughs> And like, uh, if like, even when... Uh, Cancer experts need like the most specific uh, like uh, expertise. <laughs> It's him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he gets so much work done because most uh, cancer specialists take breaks to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but he's just working all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so most he goes from patient to patient, and he shits <laughs> during uh, the transfer. Most experts are like, okay. The, okay, I've almost found a way to cure cancer. Oh, fuck, I gotta go take a shit. I'll be back. But he's like, I'm fucking curing cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sur cette note édifiante. Yeah, c'est vraiment, c'est là que tu vois. This is an English podcast that only uh, French Quebecois people can understand. Yeah. They, yeah. uh, we did 10 minutes about the Uber Wee guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm wondering yeah. why it's not growing. Yeah. I think it's, that could be, a, that could be an uh, a hypothesis. You know what would be amazing if this podcast became super popular all over the world? We'd uh, make Un peu oui a star. He'd <laughs> yes. become, because he's way better. Remember that guy that was uh, famous for about a minute? The bagel boss, the bagel guy that mm. got angry. In no. a in a like a, a bagel shop, and he wanted to fight everyone. He was like this tall, vaguely, Vag yeah. vaguely. He he was like our every viral video weirdo in Quebec is better than anywhere else in the world. Like the yeah. the except in au chalet. There's no way of beating <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that guy is a fucking comedy. And the genius. guy, uh, the woman, les deux bars make le yeah. petit chat gris. Yeah. Yeah. Si elle était pas décédée, je sortirais avec pour vrai, cette femme-là. Christ. Asti qui était parfaite. Puis elle yeah. titube dans le hall du, ah. le, du palais de justice. Puis elle, 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 elle voit la caméra. Puis elle fait. Hey! <rire> hey. An exceptional woman. <rire> May she rest in peace. Elle est décédée, j'ai appris. Yeah, yeah, moi, ouais, je sais. Tu le savais, hein? ouais. tu tiens, elle a formé ouais. des choses importantes. Ouais. <rire> OK, um, ben on va faire uh, just uh, uh, very small because I know you have to, uh, to uh, end soon. We have another podcast and I have to, I have to record a bunch of uh, Shit. live reads for the future episodes since yeah, yeah. we're not going to be able to record. So it. maybe like uh, five minutes more? Yeah, It's yeah, going to sure. end at 8.03. Yeah. That's okay for you? Perfect, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to translate on the fly. It's going to be okay. great. Um, Comment décririez-vous un bon coup? How do you say I'm going to have to translate on the fly in French? Euh, sur la mouche? Yeah, oui, exactly. oui, oui, oui. 
that, that was actually a title yeah. of an episode yeah. like uh, episode six. Um, okay, so that's not the, okay. That's two different questions. I think that 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 means yeah. They uh, always have two questions. I think yeah, exactly. So uh, how would you describe in three words uh, a good sex? Good sex. But I think, comment décririez-vous un bon coup en trois mots? Bon coup, je pense yeah. qu'il parle de sex. Not with corpse. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. I cannot top that, so I'm not going to answer. Uh, what is the first thing you do after love? After making after, love? After, after sex, probably. Yeah. Because after love. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because après l'amour. But uh, everyone, like, it's just, I guess. Because if it's after love, like, uh, it's a breakup, you cry. Yeah. But if it's after sex, oh, I also cry. Yeah. <laughs> after after uh, making love, uh, uh, it's apologize. <laughs> oh, you apologize. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Go up. C'est la première fois que ça arrive, et le mari goes ensemble, ça fait huit ans que c'est ça. <laughs> Man, no. No, so I get, but the first thing, it isn't even funny, but it's just roll over and then find something to wipe my dick. Like, wipe, wipe my dick. And you don't dick. want to wipe anything uh, on your wife? No, like, I, like just, you know, I want to, I want to clean, like, just wipe the You want to clean yourself, but you don't care about cleaning your wife. No, but I wipe my dick. Like, it's the same as a plane crash. They always tell you to put the mask on first and then help <laughs> the other people. So it's the same as getting cum off of stuff. Okay. You get the cum off you and then you wipe the, your, your the other wife person. and the, the small children. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like because a plane they, crash. Because they got splashed? <laughs> no, it's because I was doing like a plane crash thing. Yeah, I understand, yeah. but I was yeah. uh, just... Uh, yeah. Je faisais du pouce. Yeah, no, ton no. gag. Mais bon. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, How about oh. you? You don't answer those questions? Uh, I did. I said I cried. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's true. I made a joke. Yeah. Give me a chance. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. I'm... I, I, You don't re even remember the jokes I do. <laughs> hey, I'm a good actor. I, yeah. uh, I pretended to be to be mad. Uh, okay, where was the strangest uh, place where you've woken up? Oh shit! Uh, uh, probably the the emergency room in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, in, in the Brooklyn hospital. When yeah. you had a blackout? When I had a blackout and fell out or got pushed out of a taxi yeah. on the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then I woke up fucking confused with homeless people and I'm just, yeah. It was did, you, uh, did you have insurance for that uh, trip? No. So it cost you a lot? I, mean, uh, I, just, I told them that's the only reason they let me go because they, like, when I woke up, I was like, where the fuck am I? And then I was like, oh, shit. Then I started sort of remembering and it was all homeless people and they they kept on going to see the nurse and they were like i don't belong here i don't belong here and then i was like fuck that's that's what i was gonna say and, <laughs> and they'd always do the same thing they'd go i don't belong here and then the nurse would go look i'll give you a breakfast and then they go oh thank you and then they'd eat their breakfast and then when they were done the breakfast they'd go back and say i don't belong here and then they'd get a snack yeah and they but i was like so i had to time when I could say, I don't belong here. And I went to see a woman and she was like, uh, I was like, I don't belong here. And she was like, sir, we'll give you breakfast. I was like, I don't want breakfast. I'm not a homeless guy. I just want to leave. And then she was like, sir, you can't leave. A doctor will have to come see you. And then I told her, I was like, look, I, I'm, I'm not an American. I'm not supposed to be here. I don't have money and I'm not going to pay. And then she was like, okay, sir, you can leave. And then <laughs> okay. she gave me a bag full of all my clothes with fucking full of vomit and then i took the vomit clothes out and i put it on and I, oh wow yeah yeah and i left feeling like a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that was the weirdest place i woke up <laughs> second weirdest place i woke up was when i was at uh l'école du mont i got drunk and i woke up again in someone's <laughs> stairs okay. like i was just walking home I used to live on uh, on Sherbrooke and I was walking on Saint Denis and I got tired and I guess I, I leaned on someone's stairs and I fell asleep in their stairs and then I woke up in the like 
six or seven in the morning when someone was like, excuse me, excuse me, and like kind of, <laughs> kind of kicking me in the shoulder. Yeah. Hey, you have great moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why my neck hurts probably. Yeah. Because I just fucking wake up in weird places. Yeah. How about but, you? But the, the one that the, I think I told it here, or maybe at Suzy Cut, it was the time. So I'm not going to say it again. But uh, I uh, there was a mezzanine at uh, uh, in a classroom or oh, Cégep yeah, de Saint Foy, Cégep. and uh, I woke up during a class, and uh, I was uh, sleeping in the, on the mezzanine because I had to attend a, a, a course later. But when I woke up, there was a, a course that had started, and I I woke up and I had to. I I ripped off the curtain and everyone jumped like what the fuck <laughs> and uh, I was there and uh, I I I, I arrived at my course like uh, two hours before it was uh, better the first time I told it because uh, yeah because I'm but stressed. that's a good story though yeah it was yeah. better the first time but yeah. it's the only time but I woke now, up now like you you yeah it, even now but you just sold it. Like it was horseshit, though. No, but I just didn't want to repeat myself yeah, okay. since I think I, I, I told it at En Route Vers Survivor, yeah. I think. But since I don't want to... Uh, 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 I, I just want to end with one thing. It's very quick because uh, it was your birthday, uh, September 14th. Yeah. So, uh, people, you can yell, Happy birthday, uh, Mike! Happy birthday! Okay? And uh, I missed you. I, I forgot to uh, to uh, wish you happy birthday yeah. on the 14 because I didn't know what date it was because I was in my uh, my in deménagement. And you don't have curtains or uh, <laughs> yeah. a calendar. So I didn't have a calendar. So um, I, I wrote you two quick songs okay. to, oh. to make up for... Uh, it's very quick. Are you going to sing them? Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. Uh, so the first one is on the two uh, melodies of the classic song. So it's going to be okay. very short. First one is... Uh, Happy birthday, Mike Ward. Happy birthday, Mike Ward. Happy birthday, Mike Ward. If it's not clear enough yet that happy birthday wish is for, it's Mike Ward. <laughs> okay. First one is over. Okay. Uh, the second one. My dear friend, Mike Ward. Happy birthday. I wish you love Elf and Impossible Burgers. <laughs> but not in that order. Because to be in sync with your priorities, I would have wished you Impossible Burgers, <laughs> Elf and Love. I love you, Mike! <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> Merci beaucoup. So happy birthday again. Sorry, I forgot. No, no, and uh, no. thank you, Jan. You want to say happy birthday to Mike uh, to conclude? Happy birthday, Mike. Okay. Uh, V-Town yeah. wishes you happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> V-Town and all of its pores. Yeah. Yeah. They all... Uh, <laughs> So uh, thank you, everyone, who, who, uh, who are here. Uh, and I don't know when it's going to be uh, the 21st episode because I don't know where we're going to do it. Uh, the government wants us to be kind of, I guess it'll be early November. We'll be uh, back hopefully, early November. Hopefully. Hopefully. But, yeah. but maybe it's gonna, uh, I think Legault said that, that it could be longer and hopefully okay. it's not going to be longer. Anyway, I've reserved every, uh, the, when, when the Bardel reopens, they're going to do shows uh, they do shows Tuesday to Saturday, yeah. but I reserved every Sunday and Monday okay, until so. the end of time. So, so uh, we should be yeah, able to be back and uh, thank you for listening. Merci and, uh, beaucoup d'avoir été là tout le monde. Have a good night. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.